Hi again. This spreadsheet is what you're going to complete in order to uh, hand into the assignments folder today. <clears throat> and you're going to develop a couple of pro forma income statements. Uh, you'll notice at the top it says this spreadsheet provides a simple model for preparing pro forma income statements, comparing the profitability of different international market um, of different international markets should say markets is often quick and, and objective method of evaluating options and arriving at a financial based decision for expansion. So what we want is for you to, when you're considering these different options, not say, well, gee, I'd kind of like to visit the south of France, or wouldn't it be lovely to go to London or New York? We need you to be trying to think objectively and what is the best decision uh, for your uh, for your company. Now, it's not always a simple financial decision, but in some cases it is. And in the case that you've just read, Captain Fab, um, this was a company that was looking at three countries in particular and uh, trying to make a decision about which one of the three would be the best one for it to enter first. It had a very limited budget uh, in order to do it. And so uh, some of the numbers that we're talking about in here in the marketing and distribution expenses in the first year or two would be beyond their abilities. But we're looking at peak sales now for these countries. So perhaps five years after launch for Captain Fab to reach the level of distribution and the level of sales that we're going to project in these forecasts. But that's what a company needs to do is look forward. What will be the long term best option for them to enter our market? So when you look at this spreadsheet, what you'll see, I've noted some assumptions down here at the bottom and also some notes on Canadian calculations based on the information that was in the case. Um, the sales that Captain Fab had in Canada in its most recent year was 120 cases, uh, pardon me, $120 uh, dollars per case and 2,000 cases per year they were selling. And simply multiplying that gives us $240,000. The cost of goods, they expressed it in a slightly different way. They didn't do it in price per case or cost per case. They, did, they told us how much it cost per uh, bottle, how many bottles were in a case. So this 5 by 12 is really 60. That was our cost per case. And again, by 2,000 cases. So our cost was $120,000. Marketing and distribution, he told us, was $50,000 in Canada. Um, and net income then would be merchandise sales, less cost of goods, and less the marketing and distribution. And so his net income was about $70,000 last year in Canada on these products. Now, in going to the UK, we had information that was given to us in the case and uh, the primary information, we know that the UK, France and the US all have um, quite attractive marine cleaning uh, markets. So a lot of marine uh, vehicles used in the markets. And the most important piece of information was that the UK population is about double the population of Canada. And so in reaching his peak sales, he's going to have to make some assumptions. And one of the, the assumptions he can make, and you'll see it down here on the bottom of the screen, peak sales of Captain Fab in the UK would be two times the sales of Canada based on the population of UK being two times the population of Canada. So that may not be an accurate uh, assumption in the long run. But he has to make assumptions about how big the market could be. And we're assuming it's five years before he gets there. So it's twice the size of the market. So potentially he could have twice the level of sales in that market based on his Canadian um, experience. So not no longer 240,000, it's times two, 480,000. Cost of goods sold, it's simply again times two. He's selling twice as many units. 240,000, but he told us that the marketing and distribution was going to be more expensive in the UK. Of course, he's not able to do it himself. He's not on the ground there. And so he's going to have to hire people to do that. 
and that'll be 150,000 in the UK. So when we take the 480 in revenue, minus 240 in cost of goods and minus 150 in marketing and distribution, we end up with a net income of $90,000. And remember, that's at his peak sale. So that's after perhaps nine, uh, five years in the market would be his assumption. So not a very high level of sales, given the amount of effort that he's had to put into it. Now there is information given in the case about France and about the US. And what I want you to do is I want you to complete the spreadsheets for France and the US. Uh, I've got a basic calculation uh, tied in at the bottom of the spreadsheet, so it'll give you your net income for both countries. You should make an assumption in terms of how big compared to the Canadian market. Um, and then uh, and then put in your figure for US or France in terms of merchandise sales, cost of goods, and marketing and distribution. And it will then calculate for you your net income. You can state those uh, assumptions down here under assumptions for export forecasts. And then in the conclusion, based on the forecasts of the pro forma income statements, which country is the best choice for exports of Captain Fab and explain your answer. You will have three countries identified, three alternatives, and one of them, based on strictly financial analysis, is better than the others. That's your assignment. Good luck to you. Please hand it in by 6 o'clock tonight.